guys, it's Kugli again with another ROM review and this time I've got something special. It's called the Renovate Ice ROM Madness Module or whatever you want to call it for the OnePlus 7 Pro. This is for the OnePlus 7 Pro but this is also available for the OnePlus 6 and 62. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> So guys, Renovate Ice ROM. It feels very strange calling this a ROM because, well, it is a ROM. It does have a lot of system UI tweaks. It does have a lot of things about it, which qualifies it as a custom ROM. But it goes on top of the Oxygen OS ROM, which is currently on your device. And it's a magic module and all that. It is plain simple. Well, the way I see it, this is the new read of ROMs available for Android and it works really well. Now, let's get started. First of all, as I've already said, this is a magic module which goes on top of stable Oxygen OS. This is very specific to the version of Oxygen OS you're using. If you use the wrong version with the wrong stable version of Oxygen OS, things are gonna go bad. The one I'm doing right now is the version 6 which goes with Oxygen OS 9511. That is the latest version of Oxygen OS available for our device. So let's get started. First of all, in the about phone page, I just want to show you guys that it is renovated eyes for OP7 Pro version 6. You can go to the forum link in the description below. So let's get started. What is this one? This is a magic module ROM which goes on top of a stable Oxygen OS setup. It doesn't change or it doesn't alter the way you use it. It adds a lot more features to it. That is the beauty of it. So as you can see in the magic module, in the module section you can see Renovate Ice ROM is there. It is very easy to install. You just click on plus. You navigate to wherever you have the module there. Click on it. It will go through that. Reboot it. It's installed. You just have to restart it and it should work pretty well. Now let's go to the features because that is the main thing about this one. It doesn't change the way the stability works. It doesn't change the way the battery life works. It doesn't hinder any of the overall experience of Oxygen OS. That is what I really like about this ROM. Let's get started. This is the first page you see wise for Renovate Eyes and you have a few options here. You can see the version is 6.0. You can see the change log of it. What is the differences and all that. As you can see 5.0 was based on 9.5.10. It has been updated to 9.5.11. Now one more thing which I do want to mention is that this says it is GM GM21BA. It works on GM21AA. I am using AA and it is not an issue. If you don't know what it is, well, don't worry about it. The tweak application is this one. You can go to the extra thread here and also you can go to the Telegram chat from here. Now, let's get started with the stuff. Now, first of all, in ROM controls is where you will find most of the options. In the system UI stuff, you can see that there is re enable all rotation. It enables a rotation for all the directions. So, as you can see, this is working, this is working and even a 180 degree is working. One thing which I do want to mention is that if something is not working for you the first time, wipe Dalvik cache and art in recovery so that it will start working again. I had that issue with a few of the applications. Just wipe it, that should work really well. It also has a immersive mode if you want to hide the status bar and all that. Quick setting animation tiles are available. As you can see, that can be available. You can enable that. There is a lot of options there. You have you want to have extremely fast and also extremely slow. Now, apart from that, you have compact quick setting tile settings. So as you can see, I have enabled seven of them. Quick setting row count can be enabled. You can customize it to whatever you want. Quick setting column count is available so you can customize that whenever you open it up also so that's pretty neat. Quick setting pull down is available if you pull from the right side it will go straight to the quick setting panel. Mod pull down is also available. Quick setting vibration is available if you are someone who uses quick setting vibration. Now I have noticed that the location tile doesn't have vibration but everything else does have vibration so just keep that in mind. Audio quick setting tile is available if you are a fan of uh, not having circles on your quick setting tile. I like that. Now it does have a dark quick setting icon. Personally I didn't see any difference in there apart from using the uh, stock Oxygen OS dark mode. I use Swift installer so I didn't really mean to use any of that. Quick setting brightness slider position can be above the quick settings or below the quick settings and also hidden if you don't want that. As you can see I have enabled that. If you enable that, that will come up in the compact quick setting tile also. So you have all the options there. Now clock position can be customized here. It does work out really well. So you have options for that. Default is the left one which works decently well. Something which I noticed is if you select it center, the uh, clock will jump down to the compact quick setting panel. 
panel. Quick setting seconds in this status bar can be enabled and also displaying seconds in the clock is available. Double tap to sleep is available and also status bar peak is available which can be disabled. Now this is a default option where you press your hand against that you can see the black bar coming up. If you disable that it won't come up. That's something useful if you use double tap to sleep so you can just uh, click on that and there won't be the annoying black bar there which is cool. You have a battery bar setting if you can enable that animation can be enabled if you want to have that charging trickle animation which is available. Center mirror is available if you want to have that. Bar color can be customized with transparency and bar thickness can be customized also if you want that. Now expanded notification is available as you can see I have two notification here if I click enable that it will be automatically and expanded whenever I drop down from the notification. Hide keyboard selector is available which is pretty cool. Media notification on Seekboard is something which I really like in a lot of custom ROMs. Uh, let's just uh, let's just open something here. So as you can see I have a music playing and I have a Seekboard here and it works well with black player. The setting here says that it will only work with Google Apps. I'm not really sure why or how it is available. You also have an option to edit the navbar height. If you are someone who uses navbar, you can edit the height of it. You can make it smaller, you can make it larger, whatever you want, you have the options for it. Now the application option, secure screenshot is available. Now this is the default option, it will be enabled. So that means a lot of applications which does not want you to take a screenshot of it, it will be disabled. Now caution to a lot of people who want to use a banking application for it, it is probably illegal. So don't do that. I won't be endorsing that, but it is available to be disabled where an application which asks you not to take a screenshot can still be taking a screenshot of it. I don't know the ins and outs of it. So again, I won't endorse that. Lock screen options are available. Lock screen quick setting pull down is available. You can enable or disable that. Randomizing the pin keypad is available. If you enable that and if you go to the lock screen, the pin layout is fully randomized. So that is something which is there, which is pretty interesting. Hide lock screen status bar and also hide lock screen shortcut. These are something which I really, really use and I really like. It works really well. Disable power menu is available if you want to disable that. Something which I really like is the horizontal light option in the Oxygen OS 9.5. Now it is available to enable the horizontal light whenever you open up your device. So I have a notification now in Android. That should be pretty well. As you can see, it still shows horizon light whenever I wake it up from ambient display, which is really cool. It doesn't happen normally. So that is there. So I can also customize the number of repeats for it. I have set it to 10 because I want it to be longer. Now something which I really like is the thin clock style. If you disable that, the default option is this one, which is a very thick style of ambient display clock, which I'm not a huge fan of. You can enable the thin style and uh, with that, you can see that it is a very sleeker option available. I like that one a lot better. You can also enable the uh, app icon color for the horizontal light which is really cool uh, if you have a message from gmail for example it will show red it works really well i really like that it should have been something which is available with oxygen os by default but it's not so you have to use a mod for it and also whenever horizon light or ambient display new notification is available you can customize what all is available so you don't want the notification summary you can disable that notification title icon all of that can be disabled for a sleeker look of it now in the high brightness mode options you can enable high brightness mode which is really cool uh, Samsung panels which is used on OnePlus 7 does have a high brightness mode which will push the lumen scale out of the chart. You can also have the HBM mode in on auto whenever the light threshold is met it will switch on the high brightness mode. Now it is available with a lot of ROMs like Lineage OS with Nightlight or with the active display feature which is really cool. Now you will have to pay for it. This is free application for the most of the features but for these goodies you will have to pay for it. There are few options available for payment. There is the monthly payment which does work out really well. That is the one which I would would suggest you guys go for if you are interested in it because whenever you upgrade a device and the rice is no longer available for it then you are not losing anything or some of the options require you for a one one-time purchase or all the three one-time purchases which is also available that is it in the high brightness mode option in the miscellaneous options you can see call recorder can be enabled if you are someone on a part of the world where call recording is not enabled by default on oxygen OS you can enable that from here burn-in protection is also available which uh, will shift the status bar icons uh, by a few pixels here and there so that burn-in issue is minimized. There is a lot of debate about uh, burn-in protection if it's required or not but I mean it's better to enable something like this and not weep at the end so it's pretty cool. Silent notification when the screen is on is available which is really cool. I mean whenever you're using the phone you probably are taking a look at what notification you're getting so you will not make a sound whenever the screen is on. It can also be detrimental if you are someone who keeps the phone uh, charged and you keep the screen on when charging option and you leave the phone. 
so use with caution. Now lock devices drop is available. You know that OnePlus 7 Pro has this feature when you if the phone detects a drop, it will retract the camera module. You can also enable this option for the screen to be turned off or locked whenever it detects a drop, which is cool. I mean, I don't know much of the utility of it, but it is available. Now you also have the extended volume panel, which is really cool. As you can see, there are available options. You can customize that. Again, these require the monthly subscription or free one-time payments, all of them. So you can customize that. It is available and uh, you can select whatever you want. One thing which I really like in this one is the unlinked notification and ringtone volume. You can enable that and uh, what, what that causes is, this is the default option. In the default option, if you go to the sound and vibration option, you can see that the media, the ring volume is the only one. But if you enable this one and go back to sound option, you can see that there is another option for notification volume separately. So you can have ring volume at one setting and also notification volume at different setting, which is really cool. Now system animation can also be customized from here. What I really like is that there is an option for 0.75 and it gives me a little bit more granular control. But on this device though, I am using 1.0 because it's a little bit smoother and the 90 hertz panel, I have to take use of it, right? In the buttons have remap option, torch light is available, which is one of my favorite feature from a custom ROM. And it is available with this one and I really like it. What it, How it works is that if you uh, long press on the power button, it will turn on the torch when the screen is off and long pressing it on it again will turn it off, which is really, really cool. We also have an option for blocking the power button in pocket. Now other options are available where you have home button, recent button, back button and a fingerprint sensor remap. Not really sure about how the fingerprint sensor remap works. It is a paid feature if you want to use that. And the always on display options, you have options for changing the colors of it. There are available options. You can customize that. Something which is really cool is that the always on display clock accent can be customized. You can also select the uh, color of it fully if you want to customize that. As you can see, I have selected blue. You only need the accent of it to be a certain color. You can also have that. As you can see, I have selected just the accent of it, which is blue. It works out really well. You can also customize a different color for it if you so desire. Edge notification also, you can customize it to a different color if you want to do that. Uh, status bar options also, you have color options. Now, these are mostly color options where you can customize that. Most of these are paid options, but you may want to see it if you want that perfect customization ability with your phone. It is available. Quick setting panel also the same thing. You have options for changing the colors of it. These are the options which are available out of the box if you want a few more options here. So as you can see, you can read it through that. It is available for you to pay for it and get a little bit more customization available. Quick setting panel color is also available if you want to use that. If you want to have a white quick setting panel, you can have that. I'm not sure why or how much of a sociopath you would be to have that, but it is available. And that brings us to the settings option where you have the app updates, which will be enabled from here. You will look into the app updates. App start detector is available if you are having issues with that. So it is there. It also has a dark mode, but again, it is a uh, paid option, which is available. Stands to reason though. And that is pretty much it with the Renovate Eyes application. Now, apart from that, there are a few more options which are available. For example, it does add a caffeine tile to the status bar, which does work really well. I'm someone who uses caffeine a lot on my devices, so it works really well for that. I'm really happy with it. Another thing which I'm really happy, happy about is that if you are someone who uses Arnova's camera, which is a Google camera, it, it will allow you to use the auxiliary cameras without the Magis module, which is really interesting. So as you can see, I'm using the wide angle lens now. I can use the single uh, stuff now and also the zoom lens. Now the auxiliary cameras can be used without the modules being present, which is interesting and I really like that. And that is pretty much it with the features then. As I've already said, this is a ROM or Magis module, which I use with auxiliary almost every time. The only thing is you will have to wait for this developer to release a version which is compatible with the latest version of Oxygen OS. People do that mistake a lot and uh, I mean there are people who use the version 6 with 9.5.10 version and complain about it in the forums and the telegram group. Please don't do that. Apart from that though as I've already said it doesn't mess with the stability of it. It doesn't mess with the battery life of it. I mean of course if you are someone who uses a feature on this which will obviously use up more battery. Yes it might be. For example if you are using high brightness mode all the time of course it will take up a lot more battery but that is not something which is unexpected. It is to be expected. Boat animation and all that is just same. Just want to show you guys this one. I have been using this mod right when I was using my 6D also and I was really happy with it. It works really well for our device and uh, yeah, if you are someone who uses OnePlus 6, 6D or OnePlus 7 Pro, mind you, the 6 and 6D has a different version for it. I believe 13 was the latest version available for it and uh, that was on the older version of Oxygen OS. So just throwing it out there. But again, it is available. It works. 
it's one of the best mods available for 1.7 so yeah i guess that much is it about the video then hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like it if you want to be useful see you guys next time bye